What's up everyone, this is the Panda Photographer and I want to talk to you about something very important as a micro photographer and why you may want to consider buying a micro rail system to improve your micro photography. Now you can do this by hand, which I have done many times before, but you have to be really, really skilled at what you do as a micro photographer and you gotta know how to shoot and know how to pull focus. Uh, but if you want, the more practical way where you can use a system where you can calculate, well, a micro rail system like this here will definitely approve in that category. So I bought this about in 2018 for about $33. Uh, they're roughly about between $30 and $45. Uh, this one is pretty good. It's all made out of metal construction. Some parts are plastic, like the, the tension knobs here or the defocus rail knobs here. On, this, on the right side and the front here. But uh, I did have to clay to glue the bars down because these screws will come off eventually over time. So keep that in mind. I do WD-40 my rails, so keep that also in mind. I do have this attached to a ball head or fluid head, a small one, practical, easy. Got it for about $27 from Anchor. And so I can tilt up down or, or pan left or right uh, it's mounted on a Manfoto 190 gold tripod and the lens that I'm using today is the irx 150 with the Canon 80D so let me turn this on really quickly and let me show you why it's important for you guys to actually pull focus with a micro rail system so with that said Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so I fixed my focus issue with my iPhone. So I'm doing this with my iPhone, so bear with me. But the whole purpose of buying a micro rail system is to get those accurate shots, especially if you're not in an advanced stage where you can hand hold a micro lens and shoot and know how to pull and breathe and focus at the same time. And I know some of you guys may feel that that's difficult in micro photography. Micro photography is not as easy as you think it sounds. So keep that in mind. This is why I bought a micro rail system. When one of those days that I just don't feel like handheld my manual shooting with a micro lens or with any camera and that fact, I pull out the micro rail system. Now these have two tension bars here and they have a uh, pan, uh, pan left or right and you have a pull focus or focus in so how that works is if I wanted to go left I can go left if I want to go right I can go right but if I want to uh, def this is where I am back I'm not focused and I'm back focusing so I need to push it up a little bit go for it just a little bit until I feel like that's absolutely sharp and once I take a picture oh sorry and once we have a picture and we zoom in really quickly you can see the wow detail you can see the very fibers of that uh, that uh, South Korean uh, currency so very sharp indeed of a lens. So this is why I use a micro rail system. Now, as I said before, I already have this uh, on a uh, fluid head with a Manfrotto 190 gold tripod. So I will link all the gear that I have in the descriptions below so you guys can go grab it out and see if that works for, for you. But keep in mind, I also WD-40 my micro rail system from over time. Uh, because there are metal constructions here, so I don't want it, it to rust. So that's important. WD-40 your tripods, your flu heads, and your micro rail systems. But the purpose of this video is to demonstrate how well the micro rail system Gentlemen, we works. Are in Lightroom, and I just wanted to show you these images from the IRIX 150 micro lens and from the Canon EOS 80D. That's the camera that I use to take these images. Now, the whole purpose of this video, like I said, is to be aware that micro rail systems work, especially for projects. If you need to capture something in detail, micro lenses do work in the studio. And this is a great demonstration why they do work in the studio. 
because I only like to use currency that is colorful that would show crop aberrations and the Korean won and the Japanese yen are one of those uh, currencies that I quickly have in my wallet all the time and I do go to the countries and spend money spend time with friends and family but it's one of those interesting currencies that does uh, do a really good test when it comes down to corroboration corroborate aberrations or color fringin and you can see there is none just a sharp image in the center almost in the center nice and detail and normally you can see corrupted aberrations in these blue lines here but you just don't and I say that because in some uh, micro lenses that I do have I kind of see that sometimes so we're gonna move on to the next image and we're gonna look at oh look at the diamond range on this this is pretty nice nice in detail like this area here and you can see these edges really nice in detail the fine grain in the in the camera wow that's pretty impressive and right here you would normally see any green fringe in but you just don't you just cannot see it Slight right there, you see that, right? Slight, but you, you, you gotta be pixel peeping to notice that, and not many people are gonna pixel peep. And like I said, these images have not been processed yet, so. And as we go along to the next uh, image, you can see from this, it's a pretty remarkable lens, it's pretty incredible to get this close and see how this one is wow look at that the pattern that's you can see the patterns within the one pretty amazing I don't know about you guys but I think I am sold on all three criteria here the micro rail system the camera and the lens so and this is a really good sharp detail. And this is a really good image to pull off to see if there's any purple fringing, corrupt aberrations, any ghosting. And I just don't see any. I really don't. Really, really, really hard to tell if there's any. So I will go tilt forward tilt back to forward until I get the shot with this this could be a little bit easier but this is a lot of weight to carry around but like I said depends on the gear that you have you may have a carbon fiber tripod some people may have a uh, magnesium or alloy tripod so the weight does count so with that said everyone if this was very use useful if you're into micro photography let me know down in the comments down below but also do share, like, subscribe, support the channel. There are affiliate links, there's a PayPal link to keep the lights on here. And this is day seven of my quarantine. So with that said, eat, sleep, photography, videography, and repeat. And I will see you guys in the next video. You guys take care. Happy shooting.